Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Spare Parts, and today I'll be reviewing set number 75002, the ATRT. This set came out in the year 2013 and came with 222 pieces, three minifigures, and retailed for $25. Let's see if it's worth it. So here is a first look at the set. As you can see, it comes with the 501st Walker and it comes with a Droidica as a side build. Now, I think they both look okay at first glance, but let's take a closer look. Let's start with the set's play features. So starting off with most walkers, the legs can move and they have like three points of posability. First one's right here. You can kind of move it like this, have the legs up there. I mean, that's never how it would look, but you can kind of just move it. It stops to where it would like normally stand at, but you can move it up and you can also move the leg right here. Just kind of get even more weird. <laughs> and you can also move the foot. So all the way like this. Yeah, but I think the real purpose of this is so you can have like one leg walk that and then the other one do that so it kind of looks like it's moving. It's pretty cool. It works pretty well. And another poseable thing on the walker is this front gun can turn kind of like 180 degrees, which is super nice. I also noticed that there is no stud shooters or spring-loaded shooters. I'm really surprised with that. I feel like they'd stick one right here or something. It's kind of nice though, because it doesn't look weird then. It just is kind of a turret. It's nice. And then another play feature is, of course, you can put the minifigure in the walker to operate it. So you just kind of connect him to the handle thing. It's kind of difficult to do and have him like sit at the same time. I usually just have him floating like that. But if you want to, you can try. Yeah, it's kind of difficult to do that, but he stays in there and then he's kind of piloting the walker. It looks pretty good. And I guess you can move these as well, but I don't think you're supposed to. So that's basically all the play features on the walker. There are also some weak parts on the walker. Now, most of the weak parts are on the legs because they move, so there's going to be pieces falling off all the time. I guess, ah, I kind of forgot to mention this. There is one more posable thing on the walker. I'm not sure if you're supposed to, but you can like move the walker's toes up. I don't know why that's on there. It's kind of weird, but you can do that. But the problem with having the toes movable is that they fall off all the time. So like fall off and then you have to find them. It's kind of annoying. Also on the legs, these like hubcap things, especially this one, they fall off all the time because it's just like stuck on the back and it's not centered or anything. So it kind of looks weird and it also falls off. So those are kind of the weak parts on the legs. I guess this is also a very bad part that falls off all the time. Oh my gosh, probably the weakest part on the set. You just falls off. Also this control thing falls off, but that's just because it gets connected to the minifigure and then you take off the minifigure and it comes off like this. Yeah, there are some weak parts on the set. So stickers and prints. Starting off, there are no stickers or prints on the Droidica. It's just brick built, which I think is nice. I'm glad you didn't have to apply any stickers, but it might've been nice to have some prints with more detailing. But anyway, the Walker has a bunch of stickers. Well, not too many, but they're noticeable. If you look in the front here, these two are both stickers. Yes, I thought they were prints for a second because they actually, this is surprising. The colors match really well on this. Like you can't tell it's a sticker. It's like the the print on the stickers, if that makes any sense, matches the piece color very well. I really like that. But these are these are both stickers and they look they look okay. But on the side here, these are also stickers and it's just like the 501st logo. And these are like really small stickers for the piece. Like usually Lego would do the sticker all the way out to here instead of just like part of the piece. But it looks okay. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, the stickers aren't that bad in this set. I'm surprised. I remember them being worse. Sadly, there are no prints on this set. One more play feature that you can actually kind of do with the set is it does come with some extra storage. So when you put your 501st Legion Trooper up here, controlling the walker, he has just his leftover blaster. And you're like, oh, what do I do with this annoying blaster? Well, the walker solves that problem because back here, there's a little hole that you can just stick the blaster onto. It's kind of difficult to do with the trooper in there, but work. There we go. Got it. But he fell out. Anyway, the blaster kind of stays back there and it's good storage space. So you don't have just a random blaster hanging around. Taking a look at the droidica in the set, or I think this is a sniper droidica because the usual droidica would have like the two arms that come around with the two blasters. This one just has like the thing in the middle. 
I think that's a that's because it's a sniper one. I don't know. It's just a special droidica. And I've heard people have problems with this one. I'm not really sure why. I think it's just it doesn't look very accurate. But for me, this this kind of looks fine, honestly. I don't have a problem with it. You, you can tell it's a droidica, and it kind of looks fine when you have it on display next to the walker. Now, the one thing that does bother me with the droidica is there are a lot of loose parts with it, especially right here. These pieces right here fall off all the time, even the legs as well. They're just really weakly connected. Well, the legs, legs are strongly connected, but these pieces, they're just so annoying. They fall off all the time whenever I'm storing it. And I don't really know what they're supposed to be. Like, I think they help support it, but it's just, it's kind of weird. Time to take a look at the minifigures of the set. So the first minifigure, and probably the reason most people bought the set, it is a 501st Legion Trooper. And he looks pretty good. He has that nice head printing, nice torso printing, nice leg printing. Basically, all the printing's good on this minifigure. On the back, it's pretty basic printing, but it still looks really good. Nice blue arms and stuff. But then, when you take off the headpiece, or the helmet, ah, it has that ugly Clone Wars face. I really wish they wouldn't use this face, and I wish they would use that normal angry clone face to see if I can get one from my collection real quick. I wish they would have used this face. It looks so much better than just this weird face. Like, what is, what even is that one on the top? I know they were trying to replicate the art of the show, but the bottom one just looks so much better. So basically a perfect minifigure. I just wish they would have used the bottom face instead. All right, price per piece time. So when this set released in 2013, it had 222 pieces and it retailed for $25. So that was a pretty fair price back then. It was about 11 cents per piece. That's almost average, a little bit more expensive, but I think it was pretty good with like the new minifigures that were exclusive and stuff. But nowadays, adjusted for inflation, it's around $30. So that means it's like 13.5 cents per piece. So not a great deal by today's standards, but I still think it's a pretty good set. Although now if you actually want to buy the set, it's almost like $100 on eBay new. So yeah. That's a terrible price per piece. I don't even want to do that. But for when it released, it was an okay price per piece. So overall, I feel like the set is a 8 out of 10. The minifigures are amazing. Definitely the highlight of the set. They're just some great minifigures. But the walker is also really good as well. It's really awesome having something that doesn't have stud shooters. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's just a sad commentary. But anyway, it's it's a really good walker. I feel like it was ahead of its time in some ways. But overall, I feel like having all those loose parts kind of hurts the set when you're actually trying to play with it or you're giving it to a kid. But other than that, I think it's a pretty good set. Some people will disagree with me about the droid droidica, but because of that, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. So there you have it, guys. That's my review of set number 75002, the ATRT. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.